What's going on? I'm back again with another video for y'all. I'm gonna be real. I'm trying to keep it quick. Made a video before it was 17 minutes. Um, didn't think y'all was gonna watch it all through. I'm trying to make it quick now. So y'all pay attention because this is complicated to somebody who doesn't know. If you know something about car audio, chipeo music, um, chucheros, crossovers, equalizers, radio. If you if you know anything about this, then you're gonna understand. But if you know nothing and trying to learn, then slow slow it down and take it piece by piece and think about it. But once you get it, you get it. Everybody always asks how to connect the Medusa, how to use the Medusa. Um, I have a PRV Medusa. You know, it has the long you know the long cord on it and the ten channels and the three conductors, right? Nobody knows how to do a radio box connection and how to do them. Right. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this for you in less than five minutes. So for my setup, I have radio, five equalizers. Have an equalizer for each amp that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use five amps for each different kind of speaker. I'm gonna use um, an equalizer for tweeters, an equalizer for drivers, an equalizer for LA, which are um, basically mid-range speakers in a in a box that has a wave a wave a wave guide and a, a diffusor. You guys that know about music know what LAs are. So back what I was saying: tweeters, drivers, LA, mids or voices bass and your radio right so that saying again LA is just a mid-range speaker in a type of box that has diffusers on it if you know you know right you know you don't have to have LA it's just what I want um, most people would just have the four equalizers mids tweets um, drivers and bass right but for me I have five so you will understand as I go my radio not an 80 PRS, couldn't find one. But if you know, you know, you know what that is, right? Uh, my radio has three outputs, three RCA outputs. So that's six channels. But I knew that with the five equalizers that I'm using, I'm gonna need 10, right? Well, I'm gonna need 10 inputs for each equalizer because each equalizer has has an input where the signal goes into it. And an input has two, a left and a right, right? So if I have five, obviously you do some math. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I need ten RCA inputs. How am I going to get that out of three? So I have these special ones right here that go from two channels to four channels. So that already gives me four. I get another one of those. That's eight. And then I have a single, I have a single one that's just... One and two, right? So I have two, four, six. But these top two RCA channels go into four. So that gives me eight channels right there because I need ten. So I'm trying to hurry up here. Going from... So you, you're going to go from your radio. Boom. One, two. That's your main input for your bass. And I have these special ones that go from two to four. So now I have four channels down here going into these. So I have I have two more channels going in for my mids and then two more channels going to the input of the equalizer for my LAS, right? So now I have two more equalizers left, my tweeters and my drivers. I have another one of these. I have two of these, as you can see right here. They go from two channels to four. So then I have two more equalizers, which means four more input um, four more input RCAs, which are right down here, if, if you can see them. So these are for my tweeters, and these are for my drivers, right? That's all I gotta do. So basically from a radio to the equalizer, out from the equalizer through the Medusa to a crossover, and I'll show you that real quick. So this is a, Medu this is a Medusa. Medusas come, there's different people who make them. DJ LED, PRV. Uh, RD Car Show, you can get your Medusas wherever you want. But my Medusa has 10 channels and three conductors, right? These are 12 volt, um, 12 volt appliance, whatever you want to say, 12 volt things. So they all run on 12 volts and they all have a power ground and a remote. So what you'll do for the power side of this 
is connect your power, your grounds, your remotes all together through to, through these three conductors, which will take it to the amp where your power is, right? Power through your batteries, wherever you want to. So, but that's the easy part. Everybody knows power, ground, remote, and how to connect all those things. If you don't know how, I'll teach you real quick. Each equalizer has three little things, just like an amplifier does. Power, ground, remote. Get your wires out of there. Connect your powers, connect your ground, connect your remotes together. And then you have three conductors on your Medusa cable. Your power, your ground, black for ground, and your blue for remote. So after you have all three of your wires hanging out, for each single thing from your radio and all five of your equalizers you'll connect them to here you'll connect your your blues here your blacks and your reds that'll be your power your ground and your remote and then on the other side of your medusa over there by your batteries wherever you have your batteries or your amps you connect the rest of them you connect this side until your power so you'll ground it either you can connect your power to one of your amps you connect it straight to your batteries uh, wherever you have power from, wherever your 12 volt power is from. And then your remote. Your remote comes from your car, or you can connect your remote to a switch that'll be on your, either you can have your switch in your car or on your um, radio box, wherever you want. Or if you have your remote connected to your car, you turn the key, it'll turn everything on, whatever you want. That's pretty easy. But back to what I was saying, trying to hurry up. Radio, Fides, or um, what's it called? Equalizers. Taking the signal from here to the equalizers, and then this is where the Medusa comes in. You get the Medusa. You have 10, I have 10 channels. Most Medusas have 10 channels. So I need 10 channels of things out because I have five equalizers and my amps are two channel amplifiers or one channel, whatever you want to say, but that has a left and a right. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I need ten. Have ten here. So two for bass, two for mids, two for LA, two for drivers, two for tweeters. Right? And those are gonna go into the outputs of the equalizers. So you have the inputs, like I showed you before, and now you have the outputs. So two, boom. Another two, another two, and another two. All right, so that'll be your outputs. So all this is gonna go here. I'm not gonna connect them for you, you guys understand. Boom. So then that audio signal is gonna go through, out through here, out going through your Medusa. And then you can connect it straight to your amplifiers if you want. That's not the way um, that you should do it. Um, for maximum quality, you get a clarity, you get a crossover. I have a Clarion on one that PRV makes crossovers, uh, DS18, whatever you want, and they make crossovers, but I like using Clarion crossovers. So they have two, four, six inputs. You can do one for mids, one for tweeters, one for bass. I have two of these, which will have, just imagine I have two of these, it's over there. And it'll be, one of the channels will be for mids, one of the one for be for LA, one of them for be bass. I have the other crossover that'll have tweeters and drivers. That'll be all five that I need, correct? So after you connect everything through here, the signal goes through the Medusa, and now you have the other end of the Medusa, which is by your amplifiers and your crossovers. And what you'll do, you'll connect them to however they come. And then these are numbered, They're each, each channel is numbered. So let's say for example, my, um, my base is one and two. So I'll find one and two on this side because I connected one and two inside of the box. One and two on this side and I'll connect it to the base. Boom, boom. Now you, what's it called? You tune however you like, however you want your base, whatever. And then your output on the other side of the crossover is what's gonna go to your amp. So radio to equalizer signal. Your signal's gonna go from your radio to your equalizer. Then from your equalizers out through the Medusa to, th to your crossover, out your crossover to your amp, and that's it. That's pretty much it right there. And then you connect your speaker wire to your speakers. Then you have music quality. And then you um tune your music however you like, and that's really it. So to recap, right before the video ends for 10 minutes, 
Um, output through the radio, input to the um, to the equalizers. Medusa gets Medusa RCAs all the way through the Medusa. They come out through here. They're gonna come in to the crossover, out of the crossover to your amps. So hopefully that's clear for y'all. And yeah, go in the comments. I'll answer any questions.